Well, I want to thank Chris and Wayne. I'm thrilled to be here in Indiana with the men and women of the NRA. You are great American patriots. Chris Cox, Wayne LaPierre, Oliver North. I've been following Oliver for a long time. Great guy. Three extraordinary champions for the Second Amendment. And I'm a champion for the Second Amendment, and so are you. It's not going anywhere. It's under assault. It's under assault, but not when we're here. Not even close. I also want to thank our tremendous Vice President and Indiana's native son, Mike Pence, has done a fantastic job. And we're grateful to be joined by a number of terrific leaders from the Hoosier State. Governor Eric Holcomb. Where is Eric? You can't miss Eric. He's so big. Thank you, Eric. Senator Todd Young, terrific guy. Thank you, Todd. Senator Mike Braun, what a job he's doing. And Representative Greg Pence, his familiar name. Thank you, Greg. Jackie Walarski. Jackie, thank you. Jim Baird and Jim Banks, great representatives. Thank you all very much. Tremendous help. Tremendous. I also want to recognize Secretary of the Interior, David Bernhardt. What a job he's been doing. David, thank you. Thank you. A great friend of mine, Kentucky Governor, Matt Bevan. Thank you, Matt. And the House GOP whip, a man with more courage than most of us here today. He took some very, very severe shots, you know that, by a madman. And he's stronger and better. I actually told him backstage, I said, you, you're much more handsome than you were two years ago. I don't know what's going on. And he is Steve Scalise. A lot of courage. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And most importantly, I want to thank all of you, the proud card-carrying members of the NRA. Every day you stand up for our God-given rights without exception, without fail, and without apology. Together, we are fighting for the timeless values that have built and sustained our nation. And our nation is greater today than it has ever been. Stronger, richer, we're doing better than ever before. We are great Americans. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. We believe in the rule of law. And we will always protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. And there are some people that are running right now. I don't think they have that number one on their list. We believe that children should be taught to love our country, honor our history, and always respect our great American flag. And we believe in the right to self-defense and the right to protect your family, your community, and your loved ones. We believe in the wisdom of our founders. And we believe in freedom and liberty and the right to keep and bear arms. We know that faith and family, not government and bureaucracy, are the center of American life. 
And above all else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. Every day of my administration, we are taking power out of Washington, D.C., and returning it to the American people where it belongs. And you see it now better than ever. With all of the resignations of bad apples, they're bad apples. They tried for a coup, didn't work out so well. And I didn't need a gun for that one, did I? <laughs> All was taking place at the highest levels in Washington, D.C. You've been watching, you've been seeing, you've been looking at things that you wouldn't have believed possible in our country. Corruption at the highest level, a disgrace. Spying, surveillance, trying for an overthrow, and we caught him. We caught him. <laughs> Who would have thought in our country? But it's called what we all together have done. Started two and a half years ago on that great November 8th. That was a great day. Remember that day? Great day. And in a year and a half, we have one called November 3rd. It's November 3rd this time. Get ready to vote. You better. You better get ready to vote. But it's all called draining the swamp, and we are doing it faster than anyone ever thought possible. Very proud of it. And around the world, America is respected again because we are finally putting America first. Been a long time. Our economy is now the hottest anywhere on the planet Earth. Just this morning, we learned that the GDP smashed expectations with the economy growing at an annual rate of 3.2 percent in the first quarter, always the worst quarter, for whatever reason, 3.2. And if we kept the same interest rates and the same quantitative easing that the previous administration had, that 3.2 would have been much higher than that. But they hadn't hit these numbers in 16 years. We had a tremendous increase in inventory investment. You know what that means. And listen to this, a very big increase in net exports. Isn't it about time? Isn't that nice? We've added almost 6 million jobs since my election. And if I would have said that during the campaign, all of those people back there, we call them the fake news, they wouldn't have believed it. They're fake. They're fake. Blue-collar jobs recently grew at the fastest rate in more than three decades. Nearly 5 million Americans have been lifted off of food stamps since our election. Wages are rising fast, and the lowest paid workers are making the biggest percentage gains of all. And that's nice to hear. It's about time. Unemployment recently achieved its lowest rate in 51 years, and very shortly, it should be 
its lowest rate in the history of our country. African American, Asian American, Hispanic American have reached the lowest levels of unemployment in our history. America's future has never been brighter, and yet Democrats have never been angrier, especially now that their collusion delusion has been exposed to the world as a complete and total fraud. It's been the greatest political hoax ever in our country. Instead of working with us to rebuild our infrastructure, lower drug prices, which, by the way, this year, for the first time in 50 years, drug prices went down. They're going to go down a lot lower. And instead of working with us to fix our trade deals, which I'm doing without them, and continue creating millions and millions of new jobs, which we're doing at a level that people have not seen before, that people don't even believe.